Well, Camp Fern was started in 1934 by my grandparents for my mother and their only child, Peggy. And my grandmother had this just contagious laugh that made you laugh when you heard it, and she just saw the bright side of everything. And my grandfather just had this great love for children and passion for the outdoors, and through the help of a lot of loved ones and family members, and the help of the good Lord, Camp Fern came to be. And it's in that spirit today that Camp Fern is still here of loving children and wanting to help them grow and have fun. So we're a third generation Camp Fern family, one of the few in the state of Texas, and we're very proud of that. And we love our connections that we have. We have fourth generation campers as well. Hi, my name is uh, Jeanette Sabias. I was a camper here for 11 years. I'm actually two as a counselor, and this is my daughter Raven. She is a fourth generation camper, and this is her first year at girls camp, and she's very excited. She's gone to co-ed for two years, as well as my son Landon, he was at co-ed last year. Anna Polite, and she's in Maple Hollow, and this is her first year, and Maple Hollow is the first cabin that I was in at Camp Fern. Originally, Camp Fern was a place where you would come to get to do lots of things that you never got to do at home and in the summer times there wasn't a lot to do. And today's world is very, very different. Kids have a very structured time, their lives are very, very busy. And it's interesting, but oftentimes our campers will say they come to Camp Fern to relax and to slow down. And I think that's a real comment on our society. And I think the point is that the pressure is off of them here. And they still have lots to do because it takes a lot of activity to keep them challenged and happy and busy. But at the same time, because it's done in a fun way, they don't have the, the stresses that they perhaps have at activities they do at home. And even today, I have alumni come back and say, you know, I never thought that learning to shoot a bow and arrow would really come in handy, but all the different things that we do here, do at other times, um, come into play at some point in their lives. And it gives them a self-confidence that they've had a chance to learn things that otherwise they never would have learned. And it gives a general confidence overall.